Shopping. You missed getting your cap and gown. I got it this morning. See you later. Bye. Cass! The chem final? Right dig. Come in white? Well, I'd have to order it. It'd take about two weeks. Oh, no. I'm going to look around some more. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep that one out, please. She's so pretty, but she's so young. <laughs> I know, I feel like I should be asking for something in navy or flannel. <laughs> With padlocks instead of buttons? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I can't decide which one I like more. Do people ever try nightgowns on? Sure, come on. I'll show you. Ask her if you can try on some black bikini underpants. Mm -hmm. Sir? <laughs> this is where it's really good. There it is, Lieutenant. 108A. Four bedrooms, three baths, a pool, an elevator, a two-car garage, and the view. It's amazing what the Corps can do with so little space. Is this the last one? I'm afraid so, Lieutenant. I mean, it's not Beverly Hills, but it beats the hell out of Vietnam. How long were you there? Long enough to know. I suppose it's just like the rest inside. If you're lucky. 
Hey, guys, this one's an empty. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. Hello, I'm Chuck Wakeman. Lorraine Simpson. Uh, who are you looking for? The lieutenant's checking out available housing. Oh, say you've got kids. Uh, not yet. Okay. Excuse me again, ma'am. He's just going to be married. Oh, and the walls are so thin. <laughs> well, I've got two boys, all Marine. Don't say I didn't warn you. Well, we really haven't decided yet. Well, let's see what's left in this dump. Aha. Just as I thought, a foxhole with carpet. But nice carpet. Dirty. Wow. That's great. Yeah? You look terrific. Mm, like I could be a married lady? That's no lady. That's my wife. Oh, lucky boy. <laughs> Don't mind me. Hi, Lori. Uh, this last one I'm not going to model for you. You're just going to have to imagine. I imagine. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Turn around. Can I borrow that for your mother? <laughs> Daddy. Uh, Your sister has to go to bed, you two. Okay, good night, you two. Good night, Daddy. I just want to show you one more. It's against all tradition, but I really want you to see it. Come on. What do you mean? Well, you're not supposed to see this, but I can't wait. Are you sure? Oh, come on. You'll love it. Yeah, but if I'm not supposed oh, to see it... Oh, come on. You can trust me. Yeah, sure I can. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a hint. It's white. Uh, a flower sack? No, <laughs> it's uh, long. And soft. I got it. A uh, rabbit suit. <laughs> okay. Ready or not, here I come. Oh. <laughs> Some rabbit. Mm, you think this is something? What do you see the wedding gown? Mm. Is Lori in bed yet? <sighs> time to go. Oh, okay. Chuck, Still some chocolate cake left from dinner. Uh, when Mom tries to feed you, then you know you're part of the family. No, thanks, Mrs. Delio. Good night. Good night. Tell me that when you make me a grandfather, too, right? Uh, that I'm not ready for. Well, that's a relief. I won't have to start uh, dyeing my hair. Oh, what's left of it, anyway? Hey. Uh -huh. uh, Good night, Daddy. <laughs> Good night, baby. <laughs> oh, uh, Mom, Dad. Welcome to the Wakeman family. Oh, thank you. You heard me. What do you want to do? Yes. Where? Oh, right here is okay with me. You would, wouldn't you? <laughs> Let's go to our house. But we'll lose our deposit. Yeah, we will. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> There's a big tip in it for you if you can find the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> I think it's this one. I bet you think you know what she's making for dinner. Well, though, bet on it. In three months, I'm sure she's learned something new. My folks are late. These are going to dry up. Well, we can cover them. Don't worry. Oh, oh, time for the peas. Chuck's eating peas now? And broccoli. My, my. Do you think I should make the coffee now? Let me do it. Oh, no, no, hey, Dad, no, want to no. take a walk? Oh, could you get the wine? It's in the refrigerator. Sure. I guess I'm scared. I always knew I'd have to go. I never thought it would be so soon. How does Kathy feel about it? I haven't told her yet. What are you waiting for? The right time. There won't be any right time. She always pretends I'll never have to go. She's not alone, son. Uh, you know, we're looking to get a raise. Uh, it's been quite some time since we've had one. Great. Looks good. Looks good. And uh, these we found just last week. Hmm. That's nice. Yeah. That's interesting. Where'd you get this? Oh, you just have to know where to look for them. Where do you keep the silver? Oh, right here, Mom. All the way over here. You ought to keep it closer to the sink. And you need some new dish towels. This one's got a hole in it. In my kitchen, I'm queen. My, this is so dirty. I can't yell at my mother. It wouldn't do any good, because she wouldn't listen. I'm just going to have to prove myself for the next 10 years. If she's anything like my grandmother, I know it's going to take the next 50 years. But it was a good dinner, wasn't it? Kathy. You know, when we get our own house, I want to have a barbecue, and yeah. then we can invite the whole neighborhood. What? I got my orders. No. The engineering battalion doesn't see much action. No, you can't. You can't go. I have to. Can't. No, please, don't go, please. You can't go. I don't want you to. Don't go, please. Please, you can't. I don't want you to go. No. <laughs> no, I'm not that hungry. That's what I like to hear. Do you want some juice? Say yes. Yes. <laughs> Would you call my mother this morning? I want to set up a dinner before I leave. Let's not talk about it. Not this morning. Kathy, we have to be realistic. No, we don't. You do, maybe, but not me. Kathy, I'm leaving in a couple of days. Don't you know what she means? Could you do me a favor? Pack in private. Have it your way. Yeah, I'll have some bacon. I was afraid you'd say that. But you don't have time. Do I want cold cereal? Yes, you do. <laughs> Great. Just like Mother used to open. Chuck, come here. What's the name you doing in that car? Chuck? He's a chaplain. Marines don't have their own. What's he doing? It's a condolence car. Come on. Listen up. You don't want to spoil the time until I go, do you? Kathy, I'm not doing this because I want to. And you're not making it any easier for Who me. You said I had to make it easy. Well, I don't want you to go. Nothing is going to happen to me. Promise. Promise.
Don't you volunteer for anything. Except coming home. Maybe you should go for me. I would. I know. Hey, uh, you sure you want to stay on the base? Why? Don't you trust me? Oh, I trust you. It's just that you're gorgeous. Hey. And sexy. Mm. Very sexy. You just remember that. Mm. are right. What if this is all a big mistake? Hey. You just can't care. I really love you, you know. I love you, too. Do they have? Oh, baby care. Uh, and no thanks. Why not? I'll put in a good word with Chuck when he gets back. Uh oh. <laughs> say art, ceramics, emergency plumbing. That's real popular. Uh, auto repair. Now, as we discussed earlier, a cold engine is extremely difficult to start, and it requires a rich fuel mixture. So that's what. You name it, we've got it. Well, I had 13 years of school. No more for me, thanks. Is that why you got married? No. You want to be busy, but you don't want to be busy. I got it. Let's go, Tiger! Ow. Hi, Mommy. Do it. You having a good time? Yeah, how about you? Yeah. Hey, Mrs. Simpson. He's listening better, sometimes. I listen. I just don't always do everything he says. That doesn't mean I don't listen. Well, let me put it another way, then. He doesn't always like to follow the rules. Bobby, you don't have to say nothing, Mom. I heard him already. Okay. <laughs> oh, Sam, have you met Kathy Wakeman? Her husband's an engineer, shipped out a few weeks ago. Sam Daniel. Hi. Hi. Sam runs the center. Swimming classes, the works. He's not bad for a civilian. Oh, hey. <laughs> I bet you're busy. Yeah, sure am. I'm gonna go home. We're going. Okay. Kathy's a swimmer. Oh, come by and see us sometime. You got a nice pool. I heard. Maybe I will. Bye -bye. Nice meeting you. Nice we'll see you tomorrow, Sam. So you gonna take some classes? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing here. You're doing what we're all doing. Waiting. Worrying and waiting. Hey guys, you want some ice cream? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Kathy's treating. No way, Dad! You're treating! Oh, I've been thinking about doing a garden. Doing a garden? Oh, you know what I mean. A real one with vegetables and fruits, like crops. I was thinking maybe, oh, cauliflower, tomatoes, peas. That sounds exciting. Need any help? It sounds like a good project for uh, Lori and me. No, I really want to do this by myself. I've just been waiting to get my hands on something. Now's a good time for squash. 
not my favorite. Yeah. You used to like it when you were little. She liked liver then, too. <laughs> I'll get it. Corn. Will corn grow on Oceanside? Sure. I think so. That's hearty stock. I like Italians. <laughs> 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 look Hi. at you. Oh, hi. Hi, oh. You don't look so married. You don't look so collegiate. <laughs> well, hello. Hi. This is Emilio. It smells good. Oh, well, there's plenty. Oh, we already ate. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go talk. Wait, you haven't finished. Oh. I'm full. Oh. Lori, eat your sister's spaghetti. You wouldn't want it to go to waste. waste. <sighs> it's been a real plus for my ego. I told you it would just take some older men to appreciate you. You were right. The guys in Oceanside were blind. The ones in San Diego think I'm good looking. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Especially the being away part. Mm. <laughs> it's the first time we've come home, or even wanted to. And I'm really glad to see you guys. I've been by myself so much, it gets a little lonely. Oh, that's because you miss Chuck. Mm, I guess. But I don't dare tell my mother that. She'd want me to live here and... Kathy. I don't want you to be mad at me. But I've been in some demonstrations at school. About the war. Oh, it's okay. I know a lot of people think it's wrong, but don't tell me about it. I just want Chuck to be safe. I really miss him. I miss you guys, too. <laughs> don't worry, Cass. Mm. He'll be all right. I know. <laughs> I lift it up, and one, and two, and then three, four, again, run. Reach to the side, reach and stretch, and side, lift it up, and <laughs> two, <laughs> three, yeah. four, stretch, okay. run, stretch, run, and side, lift it up, one, two, three, four, stretch <laughs> to the front, and side. Well, I don't care what you say about her, she still gets up to make his breakfast. Bob hasn't had a hot breakfast for 12 years. He's terrified Kellogg's will go on strike. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Jack gets back before Christmas, I'll make him breakfast every day. Yeah, for the first week. No! <laughs> Kathy. Oh, I'm sorry. I still have one coming, right? Oh, you believe her? Talk about your ringers. Okay, there are no more raises. Cost you two to stay in, and we deal the last card down. Okay, um, I'm in. Okay, down card. Oh, I am out. I bet. What do you get? You gotta pay to play, honey. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Two roots for my blood. Mm, I'm out, too. She raises you, too? Just call. That's a straight, isn't it? Yeah, that's a straight. <laughs> you call that a straight. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Just give me the
open the door. Kathy? I just want to know you're all right. Will you let me in? Kathy, please. Kathy, I just got home. Come open the door, please. Honey, I want to help you. Come on, Kathy. Chaplain called Chuck's parents. She won't answer the door. I've been trying to get in. Are you sure she's in there? The car's here. K Kathy! K Kathy, open the door. Let me in. Kathy, sweetheart, everything's gonna be all right. Open the door. It's, it's Daddy, honey. Open the door. Daddy. Our condolences on behalf of the Marine Corps. This check represents six months' pay at the grade of second lieutenant. These are the insurance forms. It'll be $10,000. I can get this form. You can fill it out at your earliest possible convenience. I will, however, have to see your marriage certificate at the time the insurance is paid. Sorry, Mrs. Emilio. Mrs. Wakeman, there never seems to be a good time for any of this. We understand. Uh, these forms are for the uh, memorial services. Military honors requested. This is for the escort and place of interment. Major, can we finish up with this? Of course. I'll pick up the forms the next time. Um, Normally, you have 30 days in which to turn over the base housing. It's all explained in here. The Corps will help you with the transportation of your household goods and relocating. That won't be necessary. Kathy's father and I will take care of bringing her things back. She'll be staying here. No. I'm going back to my house. Kathy, there's no reason I want to. to. And I don't think it's a very I've good idea. I've made up my mind. Let's talk about it later. No, we will not talk about it later. I'm going back to the base. That's all right, Miss Emilio. I can see myself. Calm down. Why are you doing this? I need to. I need to go home. Sweetheart, this is your home. I'll fix up the den. You can be by yourself. Don't do this to me, Mother. You can't go back to that house. Yes, I can. They can't make me move. What are they going to do, throw me out? OK. You know, I used to come here a lot when I was little. Did I tell you that? Uh-huh. I don't know why I decided to stay on the base. All the things I was going to do. We were going to buy a house. 
Well, just don't panic. Take plenty of time before you make your big decisions. They called. He's on his way home. For the funeral. You know, I thought about how I'd be, what I'd do if anything happened to Jack. Oh, Lorraine, I'm sorry. I'm being selfish. I don't want to scare you, too. Oh, no, it's not your fault. It's like a shot of reality breaking through. What happened to you could happen to me. And I can't know how you feel, but I imagine it sometimes. Are you all right in your imagination? Not really. I feel sorry for myself, and I get real ticked off at Jack. And then I stop and I say, why are you doing this, dope? He's probably drinking Saigon Dry and telling some native with a flat tummy that he's a movie producer. <laughs> oh, he's a sucker for flat tummies. <laughs> I tell you, you're not fair. Well, now, why not? Even in the worst families, laughing's allowed. Have you seen Butch and Bobby? Uh-uh. Well, if you do, tie them to a tree. Right. Butch! Hey, Bobby! Bobby! And you, old child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For well, you shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to grant his people knowledge of salvation through forgiveness of their sins. Because of the compassionate kindness of our God with which the Orient from on high will visit us to shine on those who sit in darkness and the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine on him. And I am the resurrection and the life, he who believes in me, even if he die, shall live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. None of us here shall ever forget Chuck Wakeman his clear smile, his gentleness. We'll all miss him, and we'll all remember. Keep down. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch!
on behalf of the President of the United States and a grateful nation, please accept this small token of appreciation for the services rendered by your late husband, Charles Wakeman. When I'm laid out, I want it to be lousy weather. 40 degrees and raining. Well, sure enough, by the time me and the body got to Texas, it was so hot, I thought we'd both cry. 104. Don't worry, honey. Her husband never knew. I can't guarantee you much, but I can guarantee you of that. You're terrible. You know that. Don't let them upset you. You got kids? How could she? She's just a kid herself. <laughs> Dorothy. I'd like Kathy to answer that question. Well, we were only married a couple months. Doesn't take a month, kid. Two or three minutes did it for me. <laughs> My mother-in-law was in town, and the only place we could be alone was in the bedroom. Now, she was really big on rhyming poems and religion. So we always told her, we're going to read the scripture. <laughs> Isn't that sacrilegious? I hope so. Scared her right back to her black and white retirement community. An integrated retirement center? Honey, the only color they were interested in was green, like in Dollar. <laughs> Hell, it's the last stop on the way upstairs. They haven't got time to be bigoted. Amen. <laughs> Jackie, Gail, I think maybe Kathy would like to know some of your feelings right after you lost your husband. What kind of support you found, how you felt, what you did about it. My mother's living with me. No matter what Gail says about her mother, I don't know what I'd do without mine. Mother-in-law. They aren't spelt the same. You know what I think? I think you're all very effectively keeping our new member from expressing her pain. You're doing a good job of it. Because you know, if she expresses hers, it's going to put you back in touch with your own. Excuse me. I'm not feeling very well. Kathy! Kathy! Hey, wait up! Kathy, wait up! Hey, I wish you'd give it another chance. How can you let them talk like that? They're morbid. They're surviving. They're making fun of it. Doing the best they can. I wish you'd tried another time. Maybe next week? Uh, maybe.
Diego to visit Tracy and Jennifer. That sounds like fun. It'll do you good. How are things with you? Okay. I'm doing lousy in French. Well, maybe I can help you. Jeff's trying. But I'm afraid I'm hopeless. You're still going steady? Yeah. Mom's not too happy about it. <laughs> Did she say anything to you? No. Kathy? Yeah. I miss you. Maybe you could help me with my French. Okay, when I get back. Good. Will you tell Mom I'm going? Why don't you tell her? Well, I'd really rather not talk to her right now. You know you can't keep crying all the time. I'm not crying. Yes, you are. Well, even if you're not, you are. Yeah. Bye, Lori. nearly as sophisticated as I thought. Just like a huge high school. <laughs> <laughs> but the girls are better. And no one cares what you do. Of course, we're not on our own like you are, Kath. Well, I'm not really on my own. I went to this widow's group. It's a little creepy. The psychologist was all right. Are you seeing him? Her, no. She doesn't really know what it's like. Are you sure that's all you want? Oh, yeah. At least it won't gain weight. <laughs> Look, I don't want to keep you guys. I have to go to the library. I wish I'd known you were coming. I sort of had this date. <laughs> but don't let me make you mythic. Are you ready? Yeah. I won't be out late. Neither will I. Will you cut it out? Come on, I'll be fine. Go, you guys. Come on. Oh, it's me. Well, what are you doing home? What happened? Oh, I don't know. It just didn't feel right, so I decided to come home early. Well, you want to come inside? I'll make you a cup of hot chocolate. No, With no. With marshmallow? No, really. I I'm sorry I woke you up. Oh, I was reading. No problem. Well, I just wanted to let you know that I was home. Just in case. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just in case of what? Oh, I don't know. I just wanted someone to know I was here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good night. Are you sure you don't want to come in? Oh, no, really. I'm fine. 
Well, I'll see you tomorrow. You know I'm an easygoing guy, right? I'm a pussycat. I don't ask for much on Sunday night at 9 o'clock, do I? Two beers and bananas. Two beers and bananas. <laughs> now you know what your sister and your mother want to watch, the Smithers Brothers. Uh, <laughs> Smothers, Daddy. Smothers, Smithers, what's the difference? Not very funny, you know. <laughs> you know, the first thing your mother's going to ask me is, did she eat good? So I, little Pop. We love you. Daddy. And you're young now. Right now you're young. Please, right now, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, honey, I, I forgot to tell you, but uh, I've got some uh, time off coming, and Mama and I thought uh, we'd go up to the... Redwood country, wouldn't it be nice if you and Lori came along? How about it, huh? Maybe. You know what I forgot to ask you? How was your weekend with the girls? Girly. Girly? Is that girly good, or is that girly bad? I guess bad, I didn't stay. Honey, listen to me, I'm gonna tell you something. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna come home with us, okay? Your mother's cooking always agreed with you. You're gonna have some good homemade soup. Some linguine, some brujol, some ice cream. Daddy. I didn't lose my tonsils. Is there anything we can do? With I just haven't decided yet. I do have time, don't I? I'm sorry, Mrs. Wakeman. You know how the housing rules are, too. Look. If you need another week, give me a call, okay? I'll see what I can do.
war demonstrated in Washington, D.C. Marshals and soldiers were used to block attempts to storm the Pentagon. The world's first human heart transplant. Tell me what happened in there. I just got tired. Oh. How long were you swimming? What was it? An hour? Half an hour? Five minutes? I what? don't know. A while. You know this sort of unwritten rule about swimming alone? <laughs> I'm a good swimmer. That is not the rule. I'd have been all right. Yeah, well, we'll never know that for sure, will we? I'd have been all right. Why were you swimming alone? Why are you asking me all these questions? Because this is my center, and it would have been my responsibility. Nothing would have been your responsibility. Look, I know about your husband. I know what you're thinking. And you're wrong. I may be depressed, but I'm not that depressed. Don't be so smug. Look, I really appreciate what you did for me, but I would have been all right. You said that three times. What are you doing for yourself? What? Do you have a family? Yes. Can you go back to them? I'd rather live in our house, thank you. And what'd you do before? I don't, I was busy. I, fixing up the house. I don't, why? No, I mean, have you ever worked? Not really. Well, how about a job? We've got a new session starting up, and, uh... Oh, I could use some help around the pool, you know, uh, instructor, lifeguard, that sort of thing. I don't know. Doesn't pay very well. This isn't a charity offer, is it? No. I'm good, and I like kids. You don't have to talk me into it. I have to talk myself into it. Can I let you know? Sure, sure. You know, it's, it's just a thought. Whatever. Thank you. For the use of the towel. Hi. 
I'm not going to say a word. Thank you. Didn't I make you a grilled cheese or something? I thought you said you weren't going to say a word. For Mom, that's barely mentioning it. Honey, I thought I'd come over this weekend, maybe borrow Eddie's truck, help you bring some of the things back. What do you say? Hmm? Oh, no. Well, I don't like to see you leaving everything to the last minute. Well, I'm not. I'm not moving home. But I told you, um, I'd fix up the den. You'd have your privacy. Mom. I'm moving in with Lorraine for a while. Lorraine? Right. Please don't take it personally. Why? Why would you want to go there? Well, I'm starting a job on the base. What kind of a job? Swimming at the recreation center. I think that sounds super. But you need to get away from there. Mom, I'm just going to try it, at least through spring. And then what? I don't know. This is my first real job. Swimming? You don't have to go to work now. Listen, baby. Don't call me that! I am not your baby. How can I be your baby anymore? What did we do? What we could. But this she's going to do for herself. <laughs> okay, your turn. Bubbles. Bubbles, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Very good. Okay, now nobody hiding out. Let's go. Bubbles. What happened? You didn't do it. <laughs> no, you didn't do it. No. Why don't we try it one more time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Very good, you did it this time. One more time. <laughs> you're all doing so well. Am I going to do it? Yeah, this time you're going to do it. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Come on in. I took a look at you a little while ago. You're doing fine. Yeah, I kind of surprised myself. I think they're really going to learn how to swim. Oh, well, I hope so. Just don't get too good at it. Why not? Because they'll promote you. That's why. That's what they did to me. I got so good at it, I don't get to do it anymore. <laughs> we ought to put you on a full schedule. You ready to try a little lifeguarding? Oh, yeah, I think so. Okay, well, I'll have to check you out and make sure you know what you're doing. I do. Have you ever really had to rescue anyone? I didn't need saving. Damnest way of asking for a job I've ever seen. I didn't want a job. You didn't? No. You forget. You made me take it. Oh. I can see right through you. You can. You can see that I'm starving to death. You want a break? Lunch. Thanks. I'd love to. go. Two doubles, no onions, enough grease to lube the car. No, I'm not really hungry. Yeah, well, you just watch me and pretend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Cheer up. You look better back at the office. For a while, I was okay. Huh? The whiles will get longer. Am I ever going to stop thinking about Chuck? be different. You make a special place for him. Is that the way it was with your ex-wife? Can't compare death to divorce. 
But didn't you love her and have it go away? It changed. I never felt a sense of loss the way you did. And maybe I did. Maybe... Maybe I felt a loss about not having what we had had. Not so different then. I don't want to forget him. You won't. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to eat. Uh. Oh, come on. This girl's no connoisseur of grease. I can see that. <laughs> I'm going to have to cook something for you one of these days. Well, I'll see if I can get you this recipe, okay? Lorraine says I'm a pretty good cook. Sure. I are. am. Listen to this. Rock Cornish hen. All right. Wild rice. Sure, 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 sure. Gourmet salad. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? S'mores. You know graham crackers with melted marshmallow and chocolate syrup all over the top. Oh, come on. You are love it. You serious? Yes. Boy, you are young. Oh, come on now. You love it. I'm going to do it for you. Not for me, oh, you're yes. not. No mm -hmm. way, Jose. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Hey, guys. How's it going, huh? Not bad. Some of the kids are crazy in the pool. The old ones don't leave Sam alone. Well, can you blame them? Most of their fathers are overseas. Anyway, Sam's a nice kid, huh? Oh, not exactly a kid. He's 28. Oh, well, just depends on your perspective, I guess. He doesn't know how to cook. So, uh, I thought I'd make him dinner at his place. Is that terrible? No. Well, we're just friends. It's not terrible. What are you going to make him? Oh, my usual. Rot Cornish hens, gourmet salad, wild, wild rice. rice. <laughs> you got it. Ah. Uh. That was delicious. Thank you. But you've got to learn to make something else. Why? Well, it's too chic. Chic, come on. Oh, they're ready. I know they're ready. <laughs> you want unchic? I'll give you unchic. You want me to start clearing the table? No, 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 no. Don't you dare come in here. Whoa, you afraid I'll spoil your surprise? You would. You'd love to do that, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, no. What? Well, the syrup came out too fast. Oh, no. Well, you might like it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a little graham cracker with your syrup. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is disgusting. Do you seriously expect me to eat that? Oh, mm. You really think I'm going to put that in my syrup? No, I'm not going to. I wouldn't. I'm oh, not eating yes. that. No. You'll love it. You'll love it. No way. Just a little more wine. Oh, you want some wine? You'd like some wine? I would like some what a wonderful idea. It is a good idea. Oh! <laughs> oh! What are you doing? <laughs> what? Are you, crazy? Oh, I'm sorry I ruined it for you. You'll be wasting my wine. Mm -hmm. You know what it reminds me of? What? You know how you make an elephant float? Oh, no. How? <laughs> you take two scoops of ice cream and 165 <laughs> gallons of root beer. <laughs> hey! Uh, oh, oh, oh. I have one. I have one, too. Um, how... No. <laughs> Can yeah. you tell the difference between an elephant and a roll of toilet paper? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, What's come on, up? You what? Know it. what? I'm paper. never sending you to the market. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're drunk. I am not. I'm as jober as a sudge. What about you? What about you? Are you drunk? I never get drunk. Oh, no. Never, never. <laughs> Wait a minute, I've got another one. Oh, no. I've got, what, what is, <laughs> no, what, what is, what's blue and white and gray and skips to the trees? What? <laughs> An elephant. elephant in sneakers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Oh. I've got a better oh. one. What? Oh, no, how do you yeah. stop, <laughs> how do you stop an elephant from charging? I don't know. <laughs> how do you stop an elephant from charging? <laughs> oh, no, no, I remember. I have to do this over again. Okay, off from the beginning. <laughs> How do you stop an elephant from charging? How? <laughs> How?
just a kiss, you know. It wasn't original sin. Now, I'm sorry if I spoiled things. I mean, I'm really sorry because I... I had fun. It's not you. It's me. It's like the past and the present. They just don't go together anymore. They always did before? I guess. Everything's smooth? Everything all laid out? No, not exactly. I just kind of move from one thing to the next. Kathy, I like you. I like you a lot. But I'm afraid of saying anything or doing anything that's going to drive you away. I think I'm doing a good enough job of that all by myself. I'd like to take you out again. I don't know. Well, now, come on. You can't convince me that you didn't enjoy most of the evening. Uh, I think that's my problem. I enjoyed it just a little too much. Hey, wait a minute. You can't enjoy something too much. I think. No, I know that I'm really glad I decided to go swimming in your pool. Why, you sly, smooth talking. That'll cost you. And not on what you pay me. Bobby, don't tease your brother. That isn't sugar. No, it's already got sugar. It's just a little... No. What's spilled? Oh, boy. Mm. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, <laughs> you realize you've just entered a battle zone here. Would you like my raincoat? No, thanks. I'm fine. I'm finished. Okay. Terrific. Now, hurry up, all right? Because you still got to make your bed. I don't want to. I'm too late. Besides, what do you ever do for me? I let you live, don't I? What time do you have to go in today? Oh, not till this afternoon, but I'm going in early. I'm going to go see Beverly Mitchelson. Oh? And she's a psychologist that runs that women's group. I know who she is. Well, I really hope you seeing me like this. I'm really sorry that I walked out on your group. Maybe we can talk about that. Not here. Let's take a walk. You're in for it now, girl. Any minute now. Let's go over here. So tell me, what made you decide to come and see me again? Well, I came because I think something's wrong with me. Oh? Well, not wrong exactly. I just, well, I'm starting to get feelings for someone else. I guess you think you shouldn't have those feelings. No, I shouldn't. It hasn't even been four months. How old are you, Kathy? Eighteen. How long have you been married? Well, three months before I left, and three months before... What should you be feeling? I don't know. Lonely. Crying? I guess. Is that how you felt in the beginning? And you think you should still be grieving now? Mm-hmm. Who makes the rules, Kathy? I don't know. Me. Can you tell me what your rules are? One is I won't forget Chuck, not ever. Are you forgetting? No. I remember. But I feel guilty if I have a good time. I shouldn't. Have a good time or, or feel guilty? I'm being hard on myself. Could be. Tell me about Chuck. Oh, I loved him. A lot. 
lot. We really got along, you know, even when we argued. So I don't want to feel like I'm hurting him or not remembering enough, because if I do, then he really will be gone. This time it'll be my fault. Why will it be your fault? It just will, that's all. And having feelings for someone different, someone alive is wrong then? Impossible. You didn't know it was me. I thought I taught you better than to open a door like that. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. I was just being naughty again. Come on in. No, no, no. I was just on my way by and thought I might talk you into coming home for dinner. I can't. Oh? I'm going out. Where to? Out, Mother. Well, I didn't mean to be nosy. Yes, you did. With a friend to a movie, okay? On the base? No more questions. Look, Ma, I really have to get ready. Why don't you just come on No, in. no, no. I can see you're in a hurry and I've got to get home and cook dinner. I'll call you later tomorrow. Kathy, I don't mean to upset you. I know you're on your own. Mom, here stop it. Stop caring about me so much. You're driving me nuts. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow. I like quite Jay better than a patch of blue. Did you see that? About the blind girl? Yeah. But the character tonight was so perfect. Now, what if he had been a nice guy and everything, but just not so perfect? You mean how would her parents have reacted then? Yeah, to just a nice black man. That's a good point. How come you didn't go to college? Oh, I don't know. I got married. And now? Now? I went down to San Diego State to visit some friends, but I felt a little out of place. What? With the friends or with the school? Hmm. Both. What does feel right for you, Kath? Being with you does. That's what you wanted to hear, isn't it?
کرد It's just you and me sharing something, sharing something nice. You have nothing to feel guilty about. I don't feel guilty. Well, then what is it? I feel funny. Funny? Is it that bad? No, Sam. It was exciting, easy. trying to say is that I care about you. I care about you a lot. I won't pretend I didn't see this coming. I did. I didn't push it. I wanted it. Come on. I'll take you home. You don't have to drive me anymore. I want to. I can get there by myself. In no way. I take my responsibilities seriously. Hi. Good morning. You had me a little worried. You shouldn't have been. No, I mean, I was afraid we'd be short a hand for the poker game. I forgot. I figured that. You gonna play? I'm okay. I got the day off. That's the least he could do. Oh, relax. It's not like you forgot your bloomers. <laughs> Lorraine, it was fine. Well, it's fine. And there's fine. I always thought that if I went to bed with a man, it would be my husband. That's not totally old-fashioned. This morning, with Sam. Lorraine, I don't think I'm ready for another commitment. I think that's understandable. All I've heard since Chuck died is you're young, you're young. I mean, I don't feel so young anymore. So Bobby Kennedy has officially thrown his hat into the ring. Some experts feel that he and Senator McCarthy are simply going to divide the party even further and split the liberal anti-war vote, making it easier for Vice President Humphrey to run away with the Democratic nomination. I told you Robert Kennedy was going to run. I told you two months ago, today, you remember? Released film showing some of the 83 men of the USS Pueblo seized in the I'll get it. January. I'll get it. This propaganda footage did not identify any of the men shown. Make sure you see who it is. Of any of the Navy men or their location. Oh my goodness. Daddy. Honey, what are you. Honey, look who's here. Hi, Mom. Yeah. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. So far, Can a daughter visit? It's quarter after 11. I know, I knew you guys would be up. You're driving around by yourself in the middle of the night? Yes. How about some coffee? No, Can I Daddy, thank you. No. I just came to apologize. What for? You haven't done anything? Yes, I have. I've been acting like a baby. I keep making you miserable just because I am. You never made us miserable. A little worried, maybe, but never miserable. 
Well, I'm sorry anyway. I never wanted to hurt you guys. You're my best friends. You just, you can't keep on feeling so sorry for me. Kathy, I never wanted you to have to suffer like this. You can't always protect me, Mom. Honey, honey, all we ever wanted was for things to be easy for you, that's all. Daddy, I'm not a doll. I'm not even like every other 18-year-old. Yeah, I know. I need you, both of you, very much, but not to hang on to me. I can't go back to being your little girl. I know, baby. I said, I don't know, <laughs> baby. It's okay, Daddy, really, it is. Hey, can I spend the night? Oh, oh, spend, the night. spend the night. <laughs> you last night. Late. I was at my folks. Oh. You all right? I think so. I'm leaving Oceanside. May I ask why? I have to. It's my fault, isn't it? I went too fast. No, Sam. You didn't do anything wrong. I just don't want to be one of your responsibilities. Please don't go. You want to take care of me? A year ago, Chuck was going to take care of me. Right when my parents left off. I can't do that anymore. You were happy with Chuck. It's a time in my life I don't ever want to forget. Please stay. We'll start over. I have got to be on my own for a while. Where are you going to go? I'm not sure. School? think away. Maybe not too far? No promises. Please don't hate me. before the semester starts. I can stay with the boys. No, no. You do just what you've got planned. Jack's leave doesn't start for 10 days. That gives me plenty of time to find a sitter. Two weeks in Hawaii. Coming from Nam, it's gonna feel strange. I need the rest. So do you. Somehow, I'll manage to keep him off his feet. <laughs> well, you got everything? Can't stall any longer. Okay. <laughs> Now, what did you say to her? Well, I just told her that you teach her how to play poker. She didn't give away any of my secrets. No, no. no.
<laughs> well, you're all set. Bye. Bye-bye. Simpson, your next door neighbor. No welcome wagon, just me. Can I help you out with something here? It's a terrific house. You're gonna love it. Especially the hot water heater. It's great. When it works, you don't have to have kids, do you? Miracles pressed on a page and photographs set in a frame. Words like love me forever. The promise of love we made. As sure as a moment turns to hours, you fill me with wonder. One fair child needing shelter, my love I surrender. In promises together, you're turning a day into night. These things that are never denied Like the sea meets the river And promises made to one another 